guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download a macro macro into a macro and beat zone simulator and get tons of honey. Yeah, we love getting tons of honey. Anyways, uh, basically, first of all, what you're going to want to do is join this Discord server, the Nature Macro Discord server. You don't have to join it, uh, but I recommend joining it. Again, you don't have to, because, yeah, I will have a link to this Discord server in the description below. Then you'll go here, and they have a GitHub, uh, GitHub page for Nature Macro right now. I will have this in the description as well. And what you want to do is you'll basically want to just go to this page, and then uh, you'll just find the most recent version. This is the current most recent version, but... It's not going to stay that way for long, and then you'll just want to download the zip file, and then I am going to put this onto my desktop, and you want to extract it. Boom. Now, give it a sec to extract here. And there we go. We now have this uh, folder, and uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, it, it, it you don't really need to extract it to a folder, uh, but you can because but it, it already has a folder. So I'm just gonna real quick drag this out and delete this. But anyways, I now I'm gonna go into this. You can also delete the zip file if you want. I usually just do that. Nice way to clean it up. So now you're going to have this folder right here. And now before you do anything else, you're going to want to close out of this and go to this website right here, autohotkey.com. It will be in the description. Click download and download the most recent version. For me, it is 2.0. And I now you want to just double click on it. And... Here it is right here. This will pop up. You can select where you want it to install to. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. So ju just hit install. It will say you want to allow blah, 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 blah. Just click yes. It needs to install it. So go ahead. And now it'll pull up this. That is irrelevant. We do not care anymore about auto hotkey because we don't need to worry about it. Now you want to pull up, you want to open up the nature macro folder and double click on this start file it's going to load it up and here it is right here you'll see that it's loading and there we go now i'm going to go through this and explain to you what all of this is and stuff but you also could just go right now and figure this out on your own whatever it doesn't really matter so first of all we have the gather field uh just select the field you want to gather you can have it do rotation but i i like to just solely do pepper i like to just do elol pattern gather a shift lock drift compensation this is like copy paste that's for like the pattern and everything so you can click copy if you're moving to a new version but it can also detect when there's a new version and automatically port it all over and everything anyways then this is like when you go back to your hive. So I like to do 20 minutes or until my pack reaches 100%. Particular location, I like to do center, but yeah, I like to just do center, distance, one. Now collect slash kill. This is, uh, this could be important or not for you. I don't know. During business, you'll be able to use this section, but it's currently just does not there. And then we have uh, the collect here, so you can have it do robo pass, honey storm, ant pass, mondo check. You can have it do different things for the mondo check as well. And then there's also the dispensers, so like I like to do strawberry and uh, royal jelly and glue. Then we can go here to kill. You can do, you can have it do bug runs. I don't really like to do that. Uh, I mean, a werewolf would be, werewolf and scorpions and mantis, you could do in spider. But honestly, I would not recommend doing ladybugs and rhino beetles unless you really need to kill them. Because most of the time you're just killing them since they only have like two minute respawn times. Anyways, next, this is just factoring the vicious bee and stuff. And yeah. Then you can pick which fields to use stingers in. I don't really like to do any of the stingers. I do like to kill vicious bee. That is one. I do disable all of these though. Um, and 
I don't know, you could do only daily bonus, but I feel like just killing Vicious Bee all the time is pretty good. Then for the bosses, I like to do King Bee and Tunnel Bear, and uh, sometimes, and Cocoa Crab too, but the thing you have to remember with Cocoa Crab, like this says, you have to be very careful because it can be very easy to die if a server lags or if you don't have high enough level Bs, just because, like, this, this is, the macro doesn't, like, dodge the attacks, it just goes back and forth, kind of like this, so if you don't kill it fast enough, then you just die and there's no point. Boost, I like to do gather and boosted field, and then red field boost, this is, you can do this, and you can do, like, blue, white, blah, 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 how, how much you separate doing these fields by, you can also have it use items in your hotbar slots, and... To be honest, I don't fully know where this shrine, what the shrine thing does, because I haven't cared that much, but I assume it's something with donate, yeah. So you can just have it donate items automatically, but I, I did not do that. Anyways, quests, for quests, I like to have, sorry, voice crack, I like to have mine do Buckle because I'm trying to unlock Tide Popper, not Riley B, because I already have uh, uh, the thing unlocked. But, yeah, you can do anything. You can't do brown bear yet. Not implemented. But I, I, li I like to do it like this. Plus gather limit. I like to do 20 minutes. I think that's a good amount of time. But you could do less. You could do more. Again, up to you. Planners. I like to do manual. You could do this. But, I, I don't know. I, I just like manual better. And what I usually do is heat treated in, uh, where is it? Strawberry. I'll just real quick do these hydroponic in bamboo and petal in pumpkin. And then I like to just kind of do all these, expand them, but I don't really need to do that. Um, status. So this is something that I really like doing because the way it works, uh, if I pull up Discord real quick, uh, you'll see in Discord. So first of all, the very first thing you're gonna want. So I'll so yeah. So change Discord settings, and this pops up. I like to do all of this and these and this. Basically, first of all, you're gonna need your user ID. Um, ah, crap. Oh. Okay. Um. If I'm correct, I should have looked at this before I started recording. But, if I am correct, there should be somewhere here. It, there's, it, there might be a channel, I don't know. But you, you basically just have to get your user ID so that it can ping you. There are many ways to do it. You can look up a tutorial for that because I kind of forgot to prepare that for doing it. So, yeah. I have sent it myself on discord but I'm gonna real quick pull that up on a different tab because I do not I, I do not want you to see in my I it's just it's not anything bad it's just random YouTube videos and crap that I send to myself for later and also I have uh, some account information saved in my pinned messages but I can copy my User ID. Uh, I, I guess I'll give you guys my user ID. That's my user ID. Why not? <laughs> whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Anyways, then we're gonna. You can go to whatever server. I just have this server that I use. Although I keep meaning to make a new server, and I haven't. So sorry for anyone waiting for a new server of this, even though only my friends are in the server. Anyways, uh, let me see here. Give me a sec. So I'm gonna go here to this nature statuses channel. This is what it looks like, real quick. I've macroed some. You get like this hourly report thing that shows how much you earn during the hour and all that stuff and all the screenshots that you selected and stuff and pings and all of that good stuff and you're able to see how much honey you have. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyways, what we're gonna wanna do is get the webhook URL. So you're gonna go into the channel, integrations, and then new webhooks. You can create a new webhook if you want. I'll just do that for showcasing purposes. For So we have this thing right here, and 
yeah, so this is literally just, you just click create webhook, you can change the name, this is the name that pops up, so I'll show you this real quick, this is the, uh, uh, this is the thing that I use for my, uh, main account, and yes, so, you can see Zakaria main account, and yeah, so that's great. So what you're going to want to do on any webhook or whatever that you want this to show, copy webhook URL, and then click on this paste button, and it will just paste it in there. Then you want to click the X, minimize, or whatever, and you've done that. So now, settings, some of this is important, some of this isn't. So, first of all, GUI theme, this doesn't really change much, it's just something, I like to do Cosmo, because look at how nice that looks, man. But anyways, it, it, you don't need to change it, it's just something nice. Hive, so first of all, you want to do how many bees your hive has. So if I real quick hop into bee swarm, you'll see my hive has 50 bees. Okay, good to know. So 50 bees, that's the base. And then hive slot, I currently have the fourth hive. And this will also change while you're macroing. If you get disconnected or something into a new server, it will update that. Now, movement speed. This is very important. This is a very important step. Otherwise, everything will get completely messed up. But, okay, so I just got haste. This is what you don't want. Any buff like this that increases your player move speed. And then anything, I don't think there are any permanent buffs that increase your move speed. But any temporary buffs that increase your move speed, we don't want that. So if you have any temporary buffs that increase your move speed, just run away from your bees. And when you don't have that, we'll go to system character stats, uh, and move speed. My move speed is 30. Again, I don't have any thing that buffs move speed. So yeah. So that means that my move speed is 30. Move speed correction. This doesn't really fix it if you have the wrong move speed, but it can kind of help with certain things and stuff. But anyways, then you have move method. I like to use cannon, but you might want to use something else if you don't have all the cannons unlocked. Um, Spring Builder type, Supreme, so this is a Supreme Saturator. I, again, I have the Supreme Saturator. Uh, if I do it right there, there you go. Good old sandwich sprinkler, that's what me and my brother call it. Um, and then Convert Balloon, I like to have that set to Always, but you don't have to have it set to Always. And then Mist, this is just miscellaneous stuff. So anyways... Now, I can real quick, uh, now what you'll, now you can just like full screen or whatever, I'm gonna, well, I don't know if it really matters, I don't think it really matters if you're full screen or not, but anyways, then you just press F1, and then it just does this, it resets you, and yeah, there you go, and then it'll start doing stuff, it'll start looking at planters and stuff. But we don't really care about that. And real quick, if I just go back to here, you'll be able to see that it has a very small amount of things. This is everything that it did while it was connecting. So, yeah, you can see all of this. It, it just, that's, this is what happens when you start it. So, beginning it and ending it. And, yeah, so that is going to be it for this video video i hope that this tutorial was helpful and i hope that you're able to get tons and tons of honey just as me i had 7.9 trillion and then i spent it so my honey's looking a little sad but i i, I do have i do have the treats that i spent it on and the the amulet the scorch saw amulet. anyways <laughs> I'm, I'm just unnecessarily talking here this video is already long enough so i'm gonna end it here i'll see you guys in the next video or as soon as See you guys in the next video stream or whatever, and bye!